Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I thought it would be fun to share my equipment I use for Femhead. Um, not necessarily like all the products and programs, just literally like the physical equipment. And I want to share that because I feel like there's so many people that want to start their own channel or want to start taking pictures or making videos, but they think that they need to have all this fancy expensive equipment. But I promise you, like you don't need even like half the stuff I have and I don't even have that much stuff compared to other people. I made my big purchase which I am filming on right now, my Canon T5i back in 2015 when I started my channel. And you definitely don't need a nice camera to start a YouTube channel. Like I know plenty of people that just film on their iPhones or just on their cell phones. So I just have a list of the things that I use. So the first things I'm gonna start talking about are actually what I'm using right now, right here in front of me, which is like my main setup for Femhead videos. So like I said, I have my Canon T5i. When I was looking for a camera, there was a few things that I wanted my camera to be able to do. So I wanted my camera to obviously be able to film, but also take photos. I also wanted one with a viewfinder that could flip out, uh, cause I knew I'd be sitting and talking to myself and talking to the camera and I wanted to be able to make sure everything was in frame and focused and all that stuff so that's very helpful. That was all I had at first. That was like the one purchase I made for Femhead to get started. I had a laptop. It was from 2006. It was a MacBook from 2006 that I used the iMovie on to edit my videos and it was glacially slow like it was so slow it took forever to edit videos because just the processing power on that laptop wasn't that great but I made it work until it got to the point to where I could afford a new laptop and not because of Femhead that I could afford a new laptop it was because of the other dogs I was working that I could afford a laptop so the next thing I purchased was a tripod which I still have today it was like $30 from Best Buy and it broke almost immediately so I just hold it on with tape because I don't really travel with it it just sits at my house before I had a tripod I would just take books and I would stack a bunch of them onto a ledge to get my camera to the right height to where I could film before I had my $30 tripod I wanted for a long time a microphone and I ended up getting the Rode microphone that everyone has oh I should talk about I can talk about prices my camera is refurbished and I think it was roughly like 500 500 something dollars tripod was 30 the Rode mic was 130 or 120 figured out how to like connect up to my camera get it to the right setting I had to watch a YouTube video and I just leave it at that setting and <laughs> it works really well before I had my microphone, I would just use the internal speaker. And if you go back to my old YouTube videos, you can see. So today I'm gonna to talk about the differences that I think there are. And it's not like a huge difference, but it was an improvement that I enjoyed. Before I had that microphone, I would use my brother's Yeti. He doesn't use it, so I just borrow it from him. And I think it's 80 bucks. I could be making that up. And I'll use this if I'm doing like podcast interviews or anything. Anything like that it was a recent purchase but I got a dead cat from my road microphone just to like cut out the wind it was like 30 bucks maybe it's fine it's not anything like crazy but when you have windy footage it's kind of annoying so I'm happy to have it another thing that I think is very important is to have a external hard drive and a good external hard drive this one is Seagate it's a one terabyte just having a place to put all of your like footage documents but it's just so nice to have a place that you can take it off of your laptop or your computer and store it here so it doesn't take up all that storage and slow your computer down obviously you're going to need some sd cards well i just use the transcend brand sd cards i just got two more 32 gigabyte ones because I don't know where all of my SD cards have gone, but they've just disappeared. So I got this bendy tripod. I think I got it before we went to Bali because I wanted something that I could prop my camera up on um, to get shots and that sort of stuff. And I didn't have to travel with my giant broken tripod. This one is fine when you just use it as like a tripod, but trying to use it to like attach it to like trees or whatever it may be, I don't feel like it's hard to set up shots like that. So just using it as like a mini tripod, and this was like 40 bucks. I think this was like 50 bucks, and SD cards are like 10 to 50 bucks, depending on how much storage it has. A more recent piece of equipment that I got last year was a smaller, more portable camera that I could take traveling. Um, I wanted to start a second channel, I wanted to start vlogging, 
and I wanted to not have to lug my big camera around when we went on trips and when I traveled. So I did my research and I liked Canon, um, so I went with the Canon G7X. I feel like, once again, like everyone has a G7X, but having like a smaller one, it's just easy to like pop it out. I like that the flip screen, so you can look at yourself and make sure you're in frame, adjustable like this. So if you're filming from like down here, you can see it without having to like crank your neck. I really, really like this camera and I probably honestly use it more than my T5i. This one was $400, which seems crazy, but I think this would be a great option for people that like want to start making videos and they want to do a combination of like sit down videos, vlogging, travel videos and that sort of stuff. I mean, you don't want to have to lug around a big heavy camera. Two more pieces of equipment that I use. My MacBook. So we have an iMac at home and I'll use that for work because it has much more storage than my Mac and I don't have to like bog down my laptop to edit videos, but you're tethered to one place. Like this is portable and I can take this and I can edit videos and I can write and do everything from anywhere. If I have a video that I'm editing on the iMac and I can't leave my house. So I really prefer a laptop and I bought this puppy for like $1,400 and that was a huge purchase and it was, still would be a huge purchase for me. I thought I was gonna have to like figure out how to buy a new computer at the beginning of this year because I got water on this laptop and I'm so thankful that it came back to life and I didn't have to buy a new laptop because these suckers are expensive but they are worth their weight in gold. And like I literally do everything on my laptop. Amazing that you can do all of it from this tiny little thing. And the final thing that I use is my phone. I like the iPhones a lot. This one, the next time I get a phone, which I hopefully it's not for a long time because phones are super expensive, but I need to get more storage because this like I can't have apps on it. I can't have like videos and photos on it, which sucks because that's kind of its purpose work-wise. So I use this for social media, obviously, like Twitter, Instagram. I'll do Twitter on my laptop, but you have to do Instagram from your phone. Oh, another cool thing that I learned. I don't do a lot of voiceovers, but there's the Voice Memos app. This gives you, like, great audio quality for voiceovers. That's a really nice thing to know about. It might seem like that's a lot of equipment, but it's not. Like, you don't need hardly any of this. Like, if you want to start making videos, start on your phone. I would say the most important piece of equipment that I have, it has to be my laptop. Like I cannot do what I do without a laptop. And I realized that at the beginning of the year, having some way to film something and some way to do everything else. <sighs> okay, so that's my random little video of sharing the things that I have, the things that I use. My point today is that you do not need fancy expensive equipment to make quality videos or quality content. It's all in the lighting, the audio, making sure you're in focus, which half the time I'm not, and your content. Your content and what you're talking about is the most important thing. You have to be sharing something that is relevant and interesting and important to other people's lives. That's what I have to say. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to Femhead for more of me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed today's topic, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.